best buds it's kathy with kathy's garden and i'm so happy that you've joined me today today we're going to make fabric tabs for our junk journal pages but first let's have our shout out to theola nikki's crafting corner michelle carolyn lily lulu stacy joyce eve eric and ruthie and nancy i appreciate each and every one of you all right you guys this is a nice scrap buster. I have just some pieces of cardstock and they are approximately two inches wide. And we're going to fold them. I'm just going to give it a fold like this. And I'm actually just going to bring my one of my other ones in and measure it. And this is it's about an inch. So we can actually bring in a little guillotine and we could give it a little cut at an inch. So let's go ahead and do that. Get it in here. There we are. Now, get it out of here. <laughs> okay, we've got it out now. Now we have it looking like this and it's folded. We're going to bring in our corner rounder and we're going to round the corners on the folded points. We're not going to round them down here. Now, if you want, you can ink around the edges. So, for instance, I have made three that, are, that I can show you as an example that I'm going to put into that old junk journal that I made online out of a, I think it was a cracker box. And then we added the lace to it. I made some to go in on the pages and I can show you what they look like. I have taken strips of material and I've taken a little bit of lace. And I made the lace a little narrower than the strip of fabric. I also used some eyelash yarn on some. I pleated it like this on the sewing machine. I did one that was like this. This one has uh, the fabric, the lace, and then a little bit of color. And then this side is just the fabric and some fabric, darker color fabric like that. So. A little different. I just tried all different sorts of things. Now of course you want to make this to go with the journal that you're working on. And so let's go back to this darker one right here. And you can pleat this by using either fabric tack and pleating it like this or you could use um, hot glue and you complete it. I can actually show, show you what that would look like. I'm grabbing my little plastic card right here to help me because this will be hot and you would just need to lay it on and then just pleat it like this. Just like that. And you could get it pleated. So you can do it without sewing it if you want to. And then, of course, we're going to have to fray this in just a little bit. There we go. There, that's better. Now, let's put a little bit of bling on this one. Or you could add some extra like you could put a little bit of eyelash yarn on it or you could put a little bit of decor on here like a little bit of um, edging so I think I'm going to do this edging because that looked pretty nice when I laid that down so I'm just going to put a little glue on here and I'm just going to lay this right down just like that and then I'm going to give it a little trim. Just like this. Isn't that pretty? Now, I'm going to add a little bit of bling. 
on the side right here right like this put my bling right here and there you go isn't that pretty so let's move this out of the way for just a second and I have my journal this is the one that we were working on and I told you that it wasn't finished yet so I have added the pearls I have added some dangles at the bottom let's see if I can get it so you can see what they look like some, some uh, buttons and beads at the bottom I added three signatures <coughs> excuse me and I hand sewed them in and it looks like this inside. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. So let's just say you want to add this to one of the pages. You could just simply, it opens up, just place it right on here just like that and give it a glue. Isn't that pretty on there? Now I did make some like this one and I made three of them. Since there's three signatures, I thought three would be nice. But you know, I really like this one even better. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I like this one better. Okay, there's this one. And then let's just put this one right here like this. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if you can really see that real well. I'm going to pick it up so you can see what they look like. And of course, you can stagger them wherever you want them one to a page I would suggest or one every other you know six seven pages you can add a little fabric tab on there so sweet let's make us another one so I have these this material that has the lace and then it also has just the pleats and I am working on my very first oriental journal. I have not made an oriental journal and I'm just getting ready to make one. I found this fabric right here at a thrift store. Actually I found two different oriental prints and I thought well this is something that I just would like to try. So I am going to just glue this right on to my tab right here and like I said you can use your scraps for your tab it is cardstock I think it needs to be something firm and let's go ahead and get this a trim right here now you could decorate the other side as well there is no reason why you can't do both sides of the tab. Maybe that would even be better to really finish it off. So both sides, because you will turn the page, you will turn the page over. That would be, that would even be better. Oh my, yes. So let's, um, here, I have this pretty blue that I think would be nice on there. So I'm just going to lay a little bit of glue down and I'm going to put the eyelash yarn on here and then I'm going to turn it on the other side. Actually, I'm going to push it down so it will it'll stick on there like that. And then I'm going to do it on this side. I'm going to need a little bit more glue in my glue gun. And let's do this side. So now that uh, I think both sides would be the ticket because you turn the page over. So these right here that I made, I'm going to go ahead and fill this side as well. That makes total sense that you would have both sides decorated. <laughs> oh my goodness. Of course, Kathy. Of course. Okay, so now we have it like this. And let's go ahead and maybe put um, 
I don't know, maybe a little bit of, oh, this color's pretty. Let's add this, and let's go ahead and maybe add um, this many. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and let's just put it approximately in the middle. Just guessing on that. My fingers are all full of glue, but it's okay. And I'm just going to attach that right there, just like that. That's so pretty. I love this. I absolutely love this, you guys. I even like it better that we're going to decorate on both sides so that when you turn your page in your journal, your tab will be decorated with fabric on both sides. So let's try this out. This isn't the correct color for this, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get this page still. And let's put this in here like this. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. And then, of course, when you turn the page, it'll be like that. Oh my gosh, you guys! I absolutely love these. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.